Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to dilute vinegar with water. Uh, what's my recommendation? Um, yeah, so I've been trying this with the standard 5% vinegar and a special uh, vinegar, that's the Vermont Village. Uh, sipping vinegar it has like ch ginger and honey it, it, there are different uh, types uh, you can buy different uh, tastes different smells of, of, of that so um, as for the basics why would we dilute vinegar so I mean when you tr uh, use vinegar for baking cooking uh, salads whatever you won't dilute I mean you mix it with other ingredients but uh, you're not actually diluting but when you drinking it a lot of people are drinking that uh, to have a positive uh, health impact so then it can be advised to dilute it so when you have a uh, regular 5% uh, vinegar it has a pH value of 2.4 uh, 5% vinegar that's uh, standard for white vinegar and 5% uh, means 95% water and 5% acid um, I think it's called acetic acid um, yeah so 2.4 what does it mean here we have a small list um, normal stomach has around P a pH of 2 and I mean normal body like esophagus normal small intestines uh, has, has 7 I mean 7 is neutral uh, basically so uh, 2.4 is pretty low um, we have other things here yeah there's another list 2 is lemon juice I mean le lemon juice is um, yeah that's that's heavy stuff for uh, special f for your uh, esophagus uh, especially when you are like uh, suffering from LPR reflux or uh, other things so too uh, I mean that 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 that's tough uh, stuff um, three already orange juice can be tough uh, if you have problems uh, so the carb carbonated water is a three tomato juice is a four black coffee a five pure water seven of course it's neutral um, yeah so or to bring you uh, another sample which a lot of people uh, use when it comes to low pH value that's coke products like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Cherry Coke it's not not much difference you see it's 2.5 which is really really acidic and actually it, it you don't realize uh, because it has a lot of sugar but it's 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 really low so if you have problems uh, yeah again uh, with your esophagus or so it's not good if you have problems with your digestion you had something like you have to throw up and then it can be a good thing because this is really close to the acidity of your stomach if you're drinking something neutral with pH 7 it can a little bit annoy your stomach so it can be a, it can be an advantage in special situations but usually I mean this thing is usually pretty low so you can see it's really close to vinegar which is actually crazy when you try to drink vinegar just uh, pure vinegar like this thing you would think yeah you you, you cannot drink I mean I, I don't recommend to drink a lot of these and especially not when it's higher concentration not higher than 5% when you have 10% it's only for cleaning 5% I, th I think it would consider this the highest to drink and I, I would not drink uh, a lot I mean just means sipping uh, uh, maybe an, an ounce or something like that but still it's really really low pH 
and if you want to do something for your health you have problem with your esophagus you have to dilute but uh, how much so I've d uh, tried this a uh, little bit so here I've uh, I took purified water of course it's uh, purified by reverse osmosis so it means doesn't matter which one you use basically it's it's, it's the same uh, regardless the brand so I took 500 milliliters which is about I think 16.9 fluid ounces uh, 500 milligrams whatever and poured this into this uh, glass jar and then I added I mean I reset the weight hope you can find that yeah you can uh, when you have like a scale you can basically reset it to zero and then uh, you start from there putting in and you will see how much it is and then stop at 10 milliliters or 10 grams the pH meter for some reason needed a lot of time to figure out the pH value and it jumped around like crazy I don't know why usually it's much more stable it finds uh, re reliable results like in the pool around 7 pH here is this it was super hard to find but finally it stopped uh, or yeah it was bouncing between 3 and 3.5 so I think it was maybe 3.2 3.3 something like that so after that I made exactly same thing I mean I started from scratch with new water and I added same amount of Vermont Village sipping vinegar I've been asking the company how much concentrated it is and they told me it's same as normal vinegar from the supermarket means 5% uh, vinegar and I had same issues same problems to find the real uh, pH value and it was bouncing uh, up and down a little bit but at the end I had ended about at si same level which means uh, between 3 and 3.5 I think it's it's about 3.3 or 3.4 I will try to do some investigation about the pH meter why it didn't do uh, why it didn't deliver a clear value I'm using same thing, a same pH meter for measuring the pH value in the pool and when I try for some time like for half a minute or so it, it delivers a pretty stable, I mean almost an absolute stable value like 7.2 uh, which or 7.4 which is good for a pool a little bit um, it's uh, alkyl, uh, al alkyl alkaline <laughs> has some alkalinity um, yeah uh, I mean basically it's uh, yeah a little bit above neutral so not acid but al al alkaline uh, anyway so it's stable and probably the problem is because it's so far away from neutral it has more problem maybe if I w was using uh, uh, more um, advanced equipment it I wouldn't have this problem I cannot tell so anyway um, my assumption it's somewhere between 3 and 3.5 with the Heinz vinegar it was between 2.9 and 3.5 so this is a little bit higher so maybe it's due to the fact that it has some other uh, mild things especially the honey, honey um yeah and so but but it, it it's really close so i put it back in the bottle and i tested from both bottles to get an idea uh, or to get a personal impression how it is if it's really comparable and i had to tell yeah it was exactly what the ph meter told me it is really it was really close I had the impression that the Heinz vinegar was a little bit more acidic 
um, but maybe it's due to the fact that it doesn't have like honey or something like that, which makes it a little bit uh, more mild or something like that but it was comfortable to drink so for me this is okay uh, I think it's uh, maybe yeah uh, when it's jumping around between 3 and 3.5 maybe it's a 3.2 or something like that or maybe a 3.3 um, yeah but it's what it means basically it's almost one one pH higher or at least 0 0.8 pH higher that doesn't look much when you see that you think yeah when you want something when you want eliminate some some really uh, a lot of uh, the acidity from vinegar you must go higher like pH 4 pH 5 pH 6 but actually this is not the case I can tell you the difference between um, 2.4 and 3.2 or 3.3 is quite a lot because the scale uh, is when you go up or down by 1 pH or 1.0 pH it means 10 times so let's say you go from 3.4 down to 2.4 in pH means it has 10 times the acidity okay or yeah vice versa when you go back from 2.4 up to 3.4 it has only a tenth of the acidity what's amazing actually or a surprising for me I mean when you add only 10 milliliters to 500 milliliters of water it's a 50th it's 1 50th of the uh, whole mixture is is vinegar so I would actually expect that it has only a 50th of the acidity but it seems it's not the case but at least it's um, yeah when you go down from 2.4 to 3.2 uh, two point yeah two point four to uh, three point two that means it's plus zero point eight means it's eight times less acidic or like um, just an eight it al almost a tenth of the acidity uh, from from the original vinegar so you can imagine that the it has much lower impact on your uh, yeah on, on the skin or yeah on your esophagus or wherever you are fearing of too much acidity um, yeah I have to leave you with that for the moment I unfortunately don't have more information about that the only thing which I I mean I have been trying to find something how to calculate the pH effect of dilution and you can google that and you will find that this seem to be absolutely uh, complicated because it has to do with the molarity of hydrogen hydrogen ions and it's uh, probably I mean just uh, from reading uh, it's too much for me <laughs> yeah I haven't studied into uh, chemistry uh, I'm not um, yeah I, I don't have any knowledge around that and this seemed to be way beyond my knowledge so the only thing was really trial and error or just try and measure and see how much it is and for me it's good and I I hope uh, even when I don't have really uh, yeah sophisticated uh, measurements here or um, like uh, 
I mean, this is not real science. I'm not a scientist. I, I, I don't uh, have. I can't provide you real values. But I think it's it's uh, it's uh, I, yeah. At least I hope I have been able to give you some kind of help or indication what to do if you are doing the same thing for you and yeah uh, if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section I'm always happy to talk about the things and maybe you have more information about that would be really nice to hear about that from you and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time